Dale Quarterly, top five. Describe to me the emotions that you might be feeling and how your day as a whole went. It's actually, I'm, I'm uh, the whole team, you know, we're happy as a clam. We're slowly getting better. Every time we go to the racetrack, we've been moving forward. Uh, today was definitely the best the car has handled in a couple of years. Um, so we're super excited. You know, we got through the day without no real damage. I had a couple of little problems with other guys, but we, uh, we got through the day with no real problems, so I can go home and work on it again and see if we can make it a little faster for walking the ride. And of course, the problems that you might be referencing is the spin early on in the race. You rebounded nicely from that. What happened there? I know there was a three wide situation. I was, um, I was three wide and the guy in the middle didn't like it. When we got to the next turn, he just freaking cleaned me out. <laughs> if hands and butts are out, he just cleaned me out. So, uh, I was hoping at the end, I was just about back to him on that last lap. I was hoping they'd get to him so he could do an off-road excursion, but I didn't get that far. Well, the good news is you get to go racing again tomorrow in the Truck Series race. Uh, what did you learn today that might help you going into tomorrow's 150 miler? I definitely learned a couple of lines during the race that saved the tires. Mm. That definitely helped. Uh, we got a problem with the truck, but we're not exactly sure what it is. If we don't fix it first thing, I'll probably just park it. Uh, there's no sense in tearing it up to run 28, right? Uh, wow. But if we can fix it, it's a top 15 truck. So they're definitely going to work on it in the morning. We're going to give up our starting spot to try and fix it. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Dale. All right. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.